Yeah, so we're here in the E3D booth. Uh, I'm Harris Taylor with Diamondback Nozzles. We just launched a couple days ago the Revo version of the Diamondback Nozzle. So what you have there in the tip of the nozzle is a solid piece of diamond. It's not a coating, but rather a solid piece of, it's called polycrystalline diamond. So you're going to get the wear benefits that diamond provides that everybody's aware of. So you can print all these exotic filaments, you know, metals, ceramics, carbon fiber field. But beyond that, you get benefits of diamond and its thermal properties. Diamond's a better thermal conductor than any other material out there. And so what that means is that your tip is gonna stay consistent at temperature during printing, which results in less clogging. And again, just more consistency on the prints and the outputs that you're getting with your printer. So we ju it's just launched here at Formnext, the, the Revo Diamondback. And then we're working with E3D to bring V6, Volcano, and all other these these other platforms over to the European market. So some can, some people are concerned about diamond breaking. Uh, they've had some experience with other insert type nozzles, but this diamond is the polycrystalline structure makes it pretty tough. It can take some impact. I'd worry more about your bed than I'd worry about the nozzle if there were an issue. Yeah. You're going to let me do a test. Yeah, so what we, ha what we have here are different samples of materials that are common, common materials for nozzles. Yeah. So, you know, we've got brass, a steel, tungsten carbide, ruby, and now diamond. Okay. Now diamond. So let's have you take a couple of these, maybe take this steel disc. I want you to hold it between your thumb and your index finger. Just lightly touch it on the ice, okay? Yeah. It'll get so cold. We are uh, testing the conductivity. Exactly, right? the thermal conductivity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it'll get cold, right? So pay attention to how long it takes for you to feel that in, yeah. your, in your finger. We are going to do the melt test on the ice cube. Let us know when you feel it get cold. It's taking a while. Okay. I still don't feel anything. Right now I start to feel the first... A little bit, okay. The first signs of cold. Yeah. Okay, so cool. it takes a while. Okay. Yeah. Now warm your fingers up a little bit here and we'll have you try with... This, this diamond disc is the same diamond that we put in the tip of the nozzles here. Yeah. Okay, so warm Great. it up, get it to your body temperature, and I'm then touch it, it up. As you can see, this is a piece of diamond. So this is indu industrial diamond, it right? Is. Yes, so it's, it's not the diamond that you use for jewelry. No, 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 no. <laughs> Very, it's the same, same chemical makeup, same structure, but definitely different. So yeah, it's, it's yeah. polycrystalline diamond. Right, so we are going to do the same tests. It's already cold. Almost immediate, right? Almost immediately. About half a second, I would say. Yeah. So it's just cool. crazy. Yeah. Yeah, so where it is diamond, it's got the hardness properties of diamonds, one of the hardest materials we know of. So print your carbon fibers, print your ceramics. So this print is your truly metals. an all-in-one nozzle. Yes. Nice. And if, so if you want to go from your simple PLAs, go ahead. But again, you're going to really be able to just yeah. uh, run those abrasive filaments without issue. What is the pricing on this? It's a great question. So. The, the V6 style, the Volcano style, those are sold for 95 US dollars. 95? Yes. So it's quite expensive, but this is probably lasting you almost forever, like yeah. diamonds. Well, exactly. <laughs> well, and another thing to think about is how much is the role of these, these abrasive filaments, you know, carbon fiber and nylon, easily 50 US dollars. So yeah. if you get a clog, or you know, you know, or your nozzle wears out and the layers start to and have an issue mid print. Yeah. I mean, could easily pay for itself in that regard. Yeah, so. yeah, I understand completely. And then, uh, as I mentioned, the Revo we just launched that. That'll be sold exclusively through E3D. Yeah. Uh, and that the, the uh, sale price of that is 150 pounds. Great. I actually love the Revo. I am not using it right now, but uh, I like to uh, test it in the future because I really like the quick swap ability of the Revo. Exactly. It's awesome. Just you turn it out and you can swap your nozzle. Yeah, very even, easy. Even cold, right? So you can change it cold. You'd have to make sure the filaments retract it out. Yeah. But yeah, change it cold and you can change sizes very easily, change nozzle types easy. So super, yeah. super robust system. So we are at the Revo stand and these are the quick swap nozzle system that you are selling. Tell me all about it. Why should uh, people get it? Yeah, so we've had Revo out on the market for a couple of years now, um, and it's our lace product that allows you to change nozzles with the nozzle at room temperature and no tools, so just using your hands. So you can get one of these nozzles, unscrew it, and then put a different nozzle in. And then we have a different range of nozzles, so different nozzle sizes, uh, but then also things like our obsidian nozzle, uh, which is a has a hardened steel tip and a, and a DLC coating, so it's very, very wear resistant. So if you are printing mainly with uh, carbon fiber filaments, that's a great option. Yeah, exactly. Um, we've also partnered up with Diamondback, 
and uh, uh, this week at the show we've released a diamond back Revo nozzle. Yep. So whilst things like Obsidian are great for printing lots of carbon fiber, if you want to get into some weird and wacky things like printing ceramics or metal yep. build, they're really good for that because you know, diamond just doesn't wear out, right? Yeah, so this is really uh, hands-free, almost a hands-free, single hand, one, you one twist hand. it out. And two, two fingers. Two fingers, this is really great. So you actually also make um, complete systems now to replace like with the Creati. We have one for the Voron, and then we have the Micro. Why yeah. does the Micro exist? So the Micro is the first one we made for this product and we wanted to try and get uh, a complete hot end with fan and everything that was as small as possible and easy to, to assemble for people to build it into new machines. Yeah. Um, so that's why the Micro exists. We do have some upgrade guides for that as well. So things like the Prusa Mini, we have a, an upgrade guide for uh, Revo, Mini, uh, Revo Micro. And then also we have things like the Revo, uh, Revo 6. So things like uh, Prusa Mark 3, which takes a V6 hot end. Um, you can upgrade to Revo for that machine as well. Yeah, very nice. Is there also a CHT? So we don't actually have a uh, we've been we've licensed the patent from Bontech and we have something which uses the same type of flow geometry so we've got an internal we've actually got a picture of one up, up there yeah so we have a, an insert that goes in the front of the nozzle uh, with uh, four holes in it so that gives us extra surface area for more heat transfer but it also then mixes the plastic as well to really increase the flow rate and what kind of flow rates can we expect we see 50 Cubic millimeters? Yeah, that's for a, for a 1.4, so a large nozzle size. Which is huge. Which is big, yeah. Um, but the key thing about this uh, uh, geometry is we can get it into the same form factor as the standard one. So one day you can be printing with a, a really small 0.15mm nozzle if you want to make tiny, tiny pieces. And then in the same hot end, you can put in a 1.4 and the nozzle length will still be the same. No calibrations needed. Exactly. And it's then printing at you know, 50 millimeters cube plus per, per second. And you can make really, really big parts all on the same platform. It's really cool. Very nice system. Well, thank you for the explanation. Okay. And I wish you the best at the Pro Next. Yeah, happy Pro Next. Thank you. This piece of content was provided by myself, so if you want to support the channel, you can do that in two ways. The first way is by subscribing to the channel, and the second way is giving me a big thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed the next content piece on Forum Next, and I see you in the next one.